Aren't you? It's closed. It's only 1 p.m. You reached out to these girls not long ago, didn't you? Incredible. Ah, you made it. Now, I just need you to place the orb on your friend's hand so I can take over her body. What? Her? No way, Pearl Jam. We've been friends since ninth grade. Just knock her out and put me on her head. I can take it from there. It'll be worth it, you'll see. Then we can get some spells going in this world. Gather riches. It'll be magnificent. Hey, I'm psychic too. I can hear you too, you know. So what kind of powers you got? I want to hear more. I can help you to gain power over weak minds, to speak to people far, far away. Oh yeah? I can already do some of those things. And whistle Yankee Doodle at the same time. Listen to what I say. I can open up new channels of power. Levitation, energy manipulation, all in exchange for bringing me a living body. Bring me anything. A vagrant. I'm not picky. He makes it sound not so bad. <laughs> he was just talking about taking over your brain ten seconds ago. How many chances do you get to join forces with a, a being who can transcend physical death itself? Ugh. I'm gonna find something to block your evil voice. Come on, Aura. I'm getting extremely bad vibology from this thing. My uncle was into this satanist crap, remember? And you know how that turned out. Yes, I do remember. An amazing man. I sense your potential as well, and can see you are a seeker of great power. Thank you for believing in me. <sighs> what can I say? You remind me of a marble I had as a kid. Feel right? Oh man. Grows its right just a little closer, scumbag. You'll get your medicine. Who are you? Do you live here? I'm Rosalita. No, I'm just visiting. Hey, well, listen, when you're done with your little ASMR session there, we think there might be something up in your attic that's contaminated, so you might want to leave while we do some radiation tests. Oh, I assure you it's contaminated, but not in the way you think. Have you ever heard of the spiritual plane? Yeah, don't they sing that, um, Go Ask Alice when she did every doll song? No, I mean the plane of mental energy. Here, I'll show you. I see a fear of babies. What? Well, I guess it's true. I do uh, tend to jump on a chair whenever one peeks out of the hole in the laundry room wall. Interesting. You stopped yourself from offering me a beer just now. You wish to come across as aloof, so there's a secret attraction. But at the same time, a recoiling fear that this could lead to a relationship. To babies. Well, please reconsider about the beer. It would help me to block the warlock's voice, and then I won't need to put tinfoil on my head. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. It's just that that phone was real expensive, and you wrecked it. And I'm not sorry, actually. Ah, just the body I need. What? Don't touch me, nasty beast. What do you want? <laughs> Oh, it must be hard boiled.
Cleft, I thought I told I thought you told these guys to keep things quiet. Their big blue hazmat vans parked right out in the open. Plus the blue guy just beat the hell out of some guy who lived next door to the place. Oh god, really? Don't tell me they were drinking again during their shift. Yeah, there's some beer cans back here. Hey, is there even room for my satellite back here, Cleft? Listen, I gave you a lot of money to take care of this. I'll be damned if I'm the let you So, it's in. a satellite that crashed, is it? That explains how Alizarian has returned from the Heron. Someone needs to return you to your room at the mental hospital. Now get out of my way. It was the orb. It stored his energy. I have one too, see? I made it myself, you know. Would you like to see what it can do? No, I don't think... Ah! Ah!